What you're about to see is the descent into the infinity of a man's own psyche, rendered in court own truth on home video file in a long elaborate spiel of bullshit about how to attempt art if you will even dare, dare to attempt art at this juncture. Do you understand me? Art is a sacred field. How else do you think we have Photoshop? And the rest! Adobe products! Excellent! So brilliant! I'm amazed you're not dancing in the street with your knickers off and drinking and fornicating and going, I can't wait to design my new visions! Well... I don't know the man bollocks this name's ill glory. You wanna know shit? Listen to your own psyche. Captures the vectors. Here we go then. Here's the documentary by new. Right. Here we go then. Here's the documentary by new. This is the Welcome to the Crap Artist. And as you can see, I'm here, alone as usual, being Billy Nomades and general scrubber about town, not ever getting laid though, so I'm a failed scrubber, that's how pathetic my life is. So um, I've been looking with disdain upon the art of the royal family of late. I've written to the king himself about his portrait, but I'm yet to write to Lady Kate about this little number. This is the official royal portrait of the Queen. Well, not the Queen yet, but the Queen in waiting, married to the King in waiting, who's not, who's the, the son of the King, but the King isn't married to a real Queen, but a Queen Consort. It's just a groovy way of saying, well, she's not the Queen, but she's the King's wife, so she might as well be called Queen Consort. Well, some such shit. Anyway, she doesn't have dominion over my authority under God. But she seems quite pleasant given the reputation she's been given by the plebs. So anyway, this is the uh, Lady Kate. And this is going to be a tough one for you people today because, uh, as you will see in the forthcoming documentary, I've been sweating for hours to do this, okay? And it's shit. Don't get, me, don't get your hopes up, right? But... This is the official royal version. It's actually quite defined. It doesn't really look like her. And it hasn't caught her in an overly majestical or happy way. But there is some merit to the striking down, up and down strokes of definition of some cartoon format. So anyway, in the forthcoming documentary, I'm not going to show you, am I? I'm, I'm not going to show you. This is what it is. No, because you might see it from the light background. So I'm going to show you sideways. Just with offset vertical filter on this side, so you don't see the goodies over here. Still shit, don't get your hopes up. But the point is, what you're about to see is effort. At being crap at something, right? And I'm not, I'm not, uh, what's the term? I'm not pretending I'm, I'm a good art, I'm a shit artist and when I'm really good because when you see the final piece you always think, no, yeah, yeah, it's not brilliant, right? And I can't go on because I've been doing this for fucking hours. I'm not paid to do this shit. I do it out of the love for art, God, and loving Britain with the royal family included. I think they're quite nice. I don't think they're all satanic pedophiles. I think that's a bit weird. But anyway. No, I nearly showed you. Oh, bugger. Um, it's, it's, it's an interesting one because neither of them really look like her. And yet I feel mine to only support myself in some vain attempt at meaning. I think mine is a little more avant-garde and captures her happy, happiness more. 
Although she still looks green and puce, and that's not intentional because poor thing is ill at the moment. We're all ill. I'm fucking ill as well, right? But it's just, I ran out of white paint, I didn't have enough money for paint, I had to go to town. I walked into the town for royalty today, just to buy white, white paint to see if I could be any good as an artist. And I really, at the end of the day, I don't know which one is better. Because I can't tell, I can't tell. I, I think mine has merit in places where the others doesn't and the other has merit in orderly, good, honest, traditional values uh, in a simple way that mine is kind of going against in the traditional art form of not rebellion per se, it's just avant-garde, just, you know, just try to be more, try to be a bit more flair, but they're, they're still both bollocks, so we're really up against it. If Britain has lost its ability to do art as well as make cathedrals and shows in stonemasonry, I think it's all about tech now and we can't just become tech monsters. We have to use our hands for creating great other things outside of computer-based home peripherals with awesome electronic goods. Because we can have all the tools in all the world, but if we have no artists to wield them, what have we got? Well, here we are. In Christ, this is very exciting. Mother Dearest, blesses her soul, has bought me a range of paintbrushes and a series of paints for about for less than twenty pounds. That is that amount of paint. I'm I'm very pleased. It can be bought from the works in town by walking in there. And you can get the canvas too. In fact, this awesome range of acrylic paints, look at that, right? And the brushes came to less than £14. People spend that around here on night, on cocaine, without even thinking about it. And yet, what is the legacy of their investment? Ask yourself that. So what we're going to do tonight with Lady Kate, bless her con socks and efforts for Britain, we're going to try and make a painting of her. I've got to put it somewhere that I can see it. I don't have an easel. I'm not that much of an artist. I haven't painted in some time. And thus, I have no easel. Easily. Oh, but I have something here. Oh, no, hold on. I'm stringing it up on a flagpole. Uh, we need to rest it gently. This will do. This will do. Okay. And I'm, what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so excited about this. I really am thrilled. Because I haven't had paints and paintbrush in ages. And I've wanted to paint a picture now for a while. And so I'm going to get some water so I can clean the brushes in the event of overspill. And then I'll be right back and we'll get on with the mission. Alright? It's like Bravo 2 Hero, the artist. Oh, this is so exciting. Gentlemen of Verona, lend me your ears. Here we go. I feel like Jason Bourne, but in a non militarist sense, being given by M, mother, a set of beautiful Taclon brush brushes. And so I'm going to open one. And I'm making this up as I go along. This canvas tonight shall be defined in the very court reality, using this video camera in definition of wonder for a new vision and I am going to start because it's a broad canvas to some extent with a wide brush 
We need a plate as well to, as a palate. This is very exciting. Very exciting indeed. So what I'm going to do, to be really exciting, and I'm not taking the piss, I really am thrilled to have all this shit at my disposal. And so looking at the image, it's generally a brownish and white number with mottles of pink and a bit of beige. So what we're going to do is we're going to create purest... No, wow. It's, it's a whitey brown. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be bold. There's no stopping me. I'm outrageous. I'm going for this brown. Take off the lid. Look at that. It's fantastic. So well scientifically deployed for our safety and good measure. <coughs> a whole range of paints. Fantastic. Fantastic. It's just brilliant. <coughs> but we're always, always <coughs> can need the white. The white of the light is so important in art. Again, watch those vector fields. So I'm putting some of this immediately in. And I want oh, a little dabble of black, but I don't want to be too bold. Too bold in my bravery at this juncture. To ruin the image before it started, because that would be a travesty. So I have to be careful, so only a touch of black. As an excess of black upon the palette can soon scupper your entire array of colours to an invidious dark morass of pain. So, anyway, we're going in. Weapons applied, solutions managed. I have a canvas, I am blessed. And paints and brush. It's so exciting. Okay, but okay. Okay. I think I know what I'm doing. I'm not sure, but I never am. Ever since the debacle in the nineties with Hannah, she destroyed me. Humiliated me like a motherfucker. I was ruined. However much I was in love with that goddess of creation. The most beautiful thing I'd ever seen in my life. Apart from my daughter now. Who is now one of the other most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. So we're doing this, and some may think, oh, it's a tedious waste of time. It's barbaric, I tell you. It's nothing. It won't save the world. Well, I'm not one of those who thinks the royals eat children, because I just think that's mental. And my grandparents didn't fight in a war to suffer the lies of the evil and the satanic. So there, there you can see the black having a huge immediate effect in the striking filter on the striations of my paint. And so it's just like it's just already opening the door on the on the on the on the wood in the background. It's not actually wood, but it looks like wood in its image. Oh, it's the things that really vector me now, but we've got to focus on Lady K. So I'm going to go for making her face, and I think we might need a little pink arama. I'm going for pink arama, not the traditional colour of the face, but when applied with white, as a little touch of the debonair beige style of the white middle classes that we have always been raised with her. So you have to remember, do you feel lucky? Are you blessed? Do you desire to die? No. Not really. 
Some days are bad, sure. But other days are great. She's very white. I don't realise how quite white she really is until now, but she's lovely. There's nothing too wrong with this. She's not vulgar. She's not impure. She's not a, a range of negatives. She seems to be a most debonair creation of family love and well-to-do regalia and quintessential beauty. Who knows? Who knows? So, so here we go. Now painting is quite often to the spectator a very tedious experience if you're not captivated by the genius of the artist. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to jazz this up a bit. Oh, this is going to be exciting. No, wait, don't fuck it up. Okay, I'll go away. Okay, okay. Very exciting element to the addition of the canvas. What we're going to do now is go in for the nostrils. We're going for the nostrils very bravely because to get the aspects of the visage at the basic level. See, I've already ruined it, really, at the divine level. Because, but I can I can make amends, but it will never be as perfect as it could have been. See now, already this is looking grubby. Too much definition on the cheekbones. Oh no, this won't work. Oh no, no, fucking hell. Return to field, return to field. No, this is grubby, most grubby. Oh no, now we're going to have to make her look like Bernard Breslau with a big bushy beard. Because the black has seeped into the beige. This won't work. This won't work. No, no, no. She needs to be white. I'm white, I tell you. Puritan and white, like snow white. I'm going over the black with the white. Because it just purely, it's not a racial thing. It's purely because it won't capture her essence if I make her out to look like Rosa Parks. She's not Rosa Parks, she's Lady Kate. If she looked like Rosa Parks, I'd do her on a, a picture her on a bus. I wouldn't do her on a bus, I'm not sick in the hair like a pervert. I meant do her in the pictorial field of making imagery. If only the plebs understood the machinations of the true Illuminatus. Then, my friends, we may have hope as a species. Oh no, now she, oh, now she looks like something out of South Park. We've got to rectify this ASAP. I'm giving her splashes of hair. We're going in for the long range. We're going in for the long range. This is going to work. Yes, this could work. In a, in a kind of way. There's, there is a bit of darkness in this. Let's splash it. Splash it. Splash it. Splash it. Splash it. No, it's all a bit dark out there actually. So I'm going to put that there as the vector. Okay, oh, yes. it's just fucking sort this out. And there's a little bit of brown up there. Oh, just splash it on. Yeah, 
Yeah, right, a bit wider, a bit wider, a bit wider. That's better. Oh, majorly better. See, that's what I mean. Yeah, that's better. 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 Specifics because remember, when dealing with optics, resolution and depth of field is huge in the development of uh, visualized beauty. Let me just stop this and start it again in case I've run out of time in the dimensional field of recording our video. Back in the hood and the feelings divine. Okay, this is where we're going for the scopes. Alright, we have to go in. You have to, when you go in, you have to go in. You have to be a bit more close. I'm so shit at oh. art when it starts especially. It's just so depressing. Not being like Michelangelo or whoever the other fuckers were. Leonardo da Vinci. All the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You know, it's just an absolute travesty to my soul that I can't div divine beauty of that specific heritage of genius. Not easily anyway, I certainly can't, it just takes fucking ages. It's like, you know, Michelangelo was the James Cameron of his day. He really was. Abomination, I tell you, an abomination. She always got white teeth, not pink teeth. Ah, oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't now we're starting to see shape. Now we're starting to see definition. Okay, so now we really have to go into the minutiae of the, the image in the strength of the presence that you desire the potential voyeur to stare with him. You know, you've got to have it all going on, really. You can't, you can't easily fool the beauty. No one's a fucking idiot, really. Just to survive this mayhem, you have to be genius. Oh god, I've really fucked this up. No way am I an artist. No way. She looks more like... I don't know. Who's that one, that naked woman on TV? On? Not naked, but semi-clad on Britain's Got Talent. What's her name? I don't know. Audrey Hepburn? No. <laughs> No, no, who's that modern Tarty love? Tarty love. Uh, I 
blacker. Let's try and make this more dramatic. Yes, there is black here, so let's make this more dramatic. Give her contours of the cheek where she needs it and build up. Christ, this is an ugly image. But no, she's not ugly. And this is why I haven't started yet. And we've got to define this. Oh, no, she's, I'm, I'm losing the world to live. I can't do it. I can't do it, gentlemen. I am not an artist. I am shit. I am bollocks. I am crap. No, hold on. Can we save the day? It's around here. It goes to the last. It's about around there. There, there's, oh, there is, there's the, t the nape of her chest. And I'll sort of just cross that out. Yeah, fuck it. Okay, so this is utterly bullshit, like a childhood painting so far. So we've got to work at it to rectify it. So much work to do here, people. So much work, it's unreal. I don't think I can ever save this abomination from the beauty she deserves. I mean, honestly, what am I playing at? Just the way the acrylics mix into a, an amorphous mess of what you don't want is quite literally horrifying to the visualizer. Seeking to create an image of exquisite beauty. And within this, we find fuckery of menace. And all sorts of terrible shenanigans. Driveling into the sun of despair. And mayhem. Gonna get a forehead right now. Gonna get a forehead right. I mean, fuck, so. She, she does, she looks like Amanda Holden. That's the name of the person I'm looking for. It is, maybe this is an image of Amanda Holden. But she's more the queen of the people of England, really, isn't she? She's the one that people love, and she's the one who's a bit racy and exciting. Poor Kate, she has to be noble and disciplined and royal and lovely and wise. And that doesn't go down well with a whoring crowd of modern satanic neophytes of the damned. So she's not that popular. But Amanda Holden... ...is very popular. With the masses, or at least she was until the recent episode of Britain's Got Talent. In which they've apparently lost some of their flag. But you know, I think Britain will always have a, a, a jour de vivre for, for love and fun. This does look like a Amanda Holden though. I've got to change it. I've got to make it who I desire to paint, otherwise the world will fall into a cat catastrophe of Sorrow and madness. No one will know who the true Mew is. But it is starting to shape up and get a bit more exciting. Just like a, as a sort of visual thing, but it's still got a long way to go, I reckon, in case I'm going to save this and make it awesome. I'm not sure I can do it. But we're going to try. I need some more paints. White in particular. I'm going to go for a new brush. Let's try to be a bit dangerous. Select a random and be possibly too exciting for my own good. But you know, I'm going to have to see what the results proffer. 
That is the way to knowledge, my friends. This is the perfect brush. Give it a bit of watering. Oops. Now this is really bold white to give for those defined teeth. They look like fangs at the moment. Oh, no. Very tricky. I see. I see I've made a critical error. And there's no way I can use a solve it. Maybe there is. No, I knew it too much black in the in the visual field to spoil the image. That's an early that's an early right. It's just it's such a it's such a bold colour in art that a tiny tiny amount of it can have a broad effect on the entirety of the image. Until it, it just ends up looking like shite because you've got too much black. Black should be used very sparsely because it's so powerful. Not because it's ugly. It's the very definition of light equated with golden light or sunlight or very essence of light whatever light is darkness is the counterbalance to light to bring the redolent beauty of resolution of life Fear not. When I'm on a mission for the government and the Britain and the royal family, I don't let the side down, chaps. I know what I can do here. Oh no, there's too much pink. I need to get rid of that pink. We need a lot more white now. Without being excessive, don't be greedy in the paint. Be necessary, but not overtly greedy. Never a good sign. Never a good sign. Always damns the monarch in the Bible. The greed. The lust for power. And riches. It never makes a man say. But what does make a man say? Why am I painting white when it's really white? Oh, I suppose you've got to have something going on here, aren't you? So what really does make a man say is evidence of God's love. Now, if you don't understand what I mean by that, then, well, we have a fluid interchange of potential divine hope for Eternia. However, when you mention most people as a god in the modern world, they equate it with being a satanic paedophile. This is just bullshit. And that's why you're all going to burn and die in hell if you believe this slanderous bollocks. But that's the downside of religion. Here we go, here we go. Now we need a minute of more waffles of brown hair. We're getting very exciting now. Very exciting. And come down in a big waffle all the way down to here. Very good, very good, very good. So let's have some swells. Let's have some swells. Let's have some swells. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Just, yeah, let's get some of that black out there and bring it down here. 
quite a little fat there to do, didn't we? Okay, well now, now, now we need the bait. Yellow. Yellow will be handy. Yellow is a sacred colour to God. It's the colour of halos and the colour of gold. And gold is important even to God, somehow. For what he uses it for, I'm not sure. Maybe it's to teach us a lesson in how to make microelectronics in the future. Because it's an excellent conductor of electricity and very efficient as it is. However, oh, that's what you done. It's grim. Grim. My eyes are offended with the abuse of the paintbrush that I have just wielded. No, no. What do we want? We want whitey whitey. Whitey whitey. Yeah, let's get rid of that baby. Yeah, let's get rid of that. See, you want to cover the canvas with at least a, some spray of paint. And then you've got a full painting vexer. But it doesn't really matter how abstract the background is. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's terrible. I've really fucked this up. <laughs> right. So, I'm not really pleased yet as yes at all with the image because I think it's complete bullshit at the moment but what I know as an artist is that once you've got the background down the layers begin to build and, if, and with, with ability you might be able to rectify any old hash job Okay, so what colours are we doing with her? We need more white. She is very white. Very white indeed. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not a sin to be born a colour. Tell that to any black man or Asian or white man or anyone. It's not, you're not born into sin because of the colour you are. Don't be retarded. Mortals of humanity. That God does not see colour, man. He really doesn't. And I don't want to sound like a cheesy old cliche. But he doesn't see colour. He sees the colour of your heart. And your soul. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to try and apply a little bit of magic. See, what she's got is light vectors there. Yeah, that's very good. No shit. She's got light vectors there. No, see, it's ruined, ruined, This might work a bit to make it a bit more abstract. Abstract is basically a word in art for saying, oh, it still looks good even though it's crap. Which is technically valid because, you know, what you're trying to create in art is a visual, a stunning visual. And it may take some time. And I'm not saying we have achieved that yet. But when we get to the position of wonder, that I'm seeking, I will display you the image very happily. Right, I think we're going to go in for smaller ops on the paintbrush now to get the detail.
This broad brush is used for the background smorgasbord of general design that I'm alluding to in the vision that I desire. But now, to really do her justice, we're going to have to go into the minutiae. So bear with me. She's got to be very light. And the black, the black, like the, the artist from the first show, Apocalypse and Hell version. This is not good. It's not good. Not good. Not happy, not happy. Not happy, there's nothing I can do. I think I'm fucked. I think I've wasted a beautiful gift my mother has given to me as a canvas. Unless I can rectify this. Then there is no hope. There is no hope indeed. Okay, now there, caught a bit of a there. Caught a bit of a there. A tiny little crumb. The conviviality just laughed out of the world to me. And I saw the perfect elegance of her lips. Now, we have, to, we have to think about this. We can't just go rushing in. You've got to take the black very seriously. And the black is the definition of the light. Because <coughs> if you think about it, without the light, if, if it's pure light, you have everything illuminated. But where is the definition? The definition is in the black. It's the darkness. The shadow. Abomination. This is an abomination of horror and not a pleasant image to look upon at all yet. So I shall seek to rectify it immediately with my skills, which I am lacking in. And thus shall I try to present to you an image. There's no saving me as a painting, as, a, as an artist. I'm gonna fuck. She brought it out of the top here. Fuck's sake. What is this? 
That's good. That's not, no, I don't know. It's yellow. Why did that fucking put yellow on it? Oh, we got a splash all over the white. But is that the right colour? Maybe. What a gary joint. Oh God, I am like so livid. I made acres of footage of making this. Let's get it just in case. We'll go in for close up. But this is what I spent ages doing. And, and it's not like a big hurrah, like, ooh, what a great artist. No, it's not that great. The point is, I made the documentary going from what you just saw to this, which was epic in my dialogue, in my delivery, and in my random off-the-cuff oratory of just sort of general entertaining inane bollocks, just to keep you entertained in this wonderment of creation. But as I continued, I accidentally deleted the files, thinking I had uploaded them into my system, but I had deleted them. And thus, the film is cack. Because it didn't show the full dialogue. It didn't show the full truth of how this beauty began. How this vision. That's quite good, actually. Um, yeah, it's getting better all the time. It's just a work in progress, really. But an, any work of art is almost always a work of, a work of art in progress, really. Unless you're an amazing artist. And you know when something is perfect. And that's when you deliver it. Like the gods of amazement. They are. Now, the point of this is that we have lost gold this night. Gold footage of my huge documentary, which was going to save the world with art as a lesson and a way forward for the people. The nay by the nay. There was nothing but shenanigans in the plot of the Lord. He thought to spell himself very appropriately this night. But I continued, like he told me to do. In 1995. And I believe. I do believe. I believe so much. It's unreal. Oh now it's starting to. Oh, I am got the knowledge. It just happened and now. It's just happening now. Well done ladies and gentlemen. This is actual captured evidence. Of being. In the artistic zone. I haven't painted a painting of a woman since the 90s. But I'm doing this for humanity. And long may we reign! As one. As a colossal union. Like that song, Rugby Union. Do you remember? Oh, heart back, gentlemen. Heart back. Back to the day. When the rugby union was on, that wonderful woman, I think she, she was from Wales, but the original one was from somewhere else. And they're singing The World in Union, and, and, the, and it's great, it's so good. My only reservation with rugby union World Cup logos is the three backward facing swans reminds me of 666, so I get very concerned about that kind of iconography. 
as a religious field member who believes in the Lord. I say religious with a knowing tongue, but an unknowing tongue to your main frame of comprehension. Because when I say it, I mean loosely as a general definition of O oh, some nutter who believes in the Lord. But actually the word religion is hardly used in the Bible at all. It's in there. It's in the Gospels about three times. St. Paul uses it to slur another tribal system's point of view. So Marianne. Oh, that's very good. Accidental. Like a crumb of the divinity of God. Now the Lord is in control. Lord above. Jehovah, God, Jesus. All of them creating this energy system which is making a more redolent image of beauty than I was doing last night when I was off my trousers. Now, I'm not saying I'm not off my trousers now. But things are better. They're better now. Things are better now. The world is better. She's now, she's starting to look like a lovely young thing now. I'm getting quite excited. Seriously. Bits and pieces are getting a bit, you know, woo. And um, my neurons are firing. Oh, this is, now she's starting to look delightful. Oh, no, I am, I am smitten. I'm committed. Well, I'm not, because Lady Kate is not my personal muse of affection. But my country... It's a pretty good place to live, I always find. This really should victim my channel. Okay, so, um... Oh no, I put too much white on again. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go for... Brandy colour. No, there is no such thing as brandy colour, really. Apart from the sauce or something. So, Andy! Yeah? How was work today? Uh, it was not too bad, I think. Good. I had to figure out a picture. That was, that's the thing that was worrying up today. <laughs> Great Scott of the Antarctic. I know. You get a job on the Starship Enterprise for that sort of shit, dear heart. <laughs> You're pretty fucking crazy. Well played, mate. That's why you get paid lots of money. Yeah. This is extraordinary. The field of imagination and design will never be the same again after this documentary. All reality is now composing into the definition of truth. The artist has managed to somehow, given his toil, struggle and ignorance, generate an image of some worthy form emanating here from the canvas. I trust I do not screw it up now at this knowledge, this responsibility of definition of vision. No, but I tell you what, I really don't think it's very good. It's traditionally bollocks for my sort of cat. What I would say, however, is that it's along the lines of that one by, um, who is it by? Andy? Yeah. Do you remember that awful picture of Her Royal Highness the Queen Elizabeth II by a particular artist? Rolf Harris? Rolf Harris? 
No, that was actually quite good. But the other one, there was a really bad one. Have you not seen it? It's an abomination of blue, grim, ugly fuckery. And I'm trying my best here to save the world. So I'm going in, I don't care, I'm, I'm on the world to see this. Oh no, again I fucked up, Jesus Christ. Yeah, better, better. No, hold on, don't, don't screw it up, you stop. This is important, man, this is important. You can't be a twat all your life. Uh, this is, oh, I'm resonant with heart and beauty. And I'm starting to feel generations of thanks. And the crumbliness of my efforts. But, you know, I still... have no animosity towards this random woman that I don't know. But who happens to be hugely powerful in the English Christian Church of Divinity. And so I'm going to give her a holy little crown. I, I think she's done well to tolerate all that she's precious. Plus she, poor lass, has cancer. And that's no mean feat. I've got schizophrenia. We've got to endure like the British we are. So, I'm giving her crown of faith, not from God, but to illustrate, because, you know, I, I'm not God, but to illustrate how she's not so bad, and if God gave crowns of faith to all those people he loves like me, then surely she's not too bad. And this is starting to be a little more mental than the official one, um, but it's giving me more hope in vivid aspects of, again I use the term avant-garde, which means advanced guard in French. Or rather, in, well, you know what I mean. So this is the essence. I mean, this is the deployment theorem. I can't go on, but... to be darn exciting. I'm going to apply some true blue to the muscle. Because this is this is the Union Jack, isn't it? It's Britain, it's Great Britain. You can't have a Great Britain post without blue. Oh no. It won't spurt from its orifice of pipe. Oh no, what is wrong? Come hither, my friend. Come hither. No. It's not giving me the blue. Why am I giving me the blue? There's a problem with that. I'm going to go into the darker blue. No! <coughs> if it won't give me the navy blue, I'm going to do it. I'm going in for the ACMO Marine. This is so exciting. I've never done anything like this before. I'm a man unleashed. Oh god, these have the little tape on as well. And I have taken off the other one. Oh, here we go, this one's working. This is more exciting than the time I heard the name Chuck Norris. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to use this very radically. This is the true blue in Acma Marine. We're being slightly you know, altering contrast filters on the colour curve here. But this is going to, there's the dark red. It's not, it's not cutting her throat. It's a red necklace of power. And, it's going to, how do we do this? Oh, I know how to do it. The blue shall be light vectors, photon streams, coming down in strips of vector. But we have to do it perfectly well. 
So, and we have to do it grey. I think I've really just fucked that up. But, that's now quite an exciting cell. And I'm more committed to this bollocks than the bollocks as previously demonstrated in the aforementioned version. That is, that is, that is, you know, this is great. This is so hugely exciting. My parts are, are, are non ruminating. I feel like I want to puke and go home, which is what I always do, because I have no idea what I'm doing in charge of humanity, purely based on the numbers involved, right? I have no problem with everyone, I quite like a lot of people actually, all cultures involved, even Muslims, I like lots of Muslims. But the problem is, I'm not the visionary artist I want to be, I feel to be, I desire to be. I try my best, I spend hours of my own time redolent in the field of nonsense. Where can I shine this little light? Here we go. This aspect of white. Oh no. Oh, now she looks like a fucking rugby player. Oh heavens, we have to save her. Save her from peril, I tell you. You see, it's not about anarchy. It's about truth and justice. And the American way. Or the English way. Or the French way. Or the German way. Or the Spanish way. Or the African way. Or the Australian way. Italian way, or the general European way. Hey, what about China, Japan, Korea? We can all get involved. We just need to fall in love and say, hey, war is shit, but I've got a good idea. What about this for our people? Anyway, the science of the bitter crumb is nil. And I am too fucking smart for my own good. So I'm going to apply the final dexterity of Vector to the eternal crumb. No, if I do it, it will ruin the Union Jack approach. But I want to add light, light streams to the photon vectors to make it look more realistic. Let's just see. Let's just see. Because, you know, there's no rule that you have to have a Union Jack in every painting. And it's certainly what, not what I've ever heard of or suggested. So, we're going to be double, dipple, double daring. And apply those dangerous filters of light curves. See what I'm doing here, gentlemen? Okay, if I can just get it like, a, like an ancient vector. Now, we still got a load of bollocks. But <laughs> the point is that given the effort involved and the vision represented, it's a load of bollocks now, instead of being worth shit, it is worth a million pounds. I know it's only a million quid. And the art world's worth so much more. But, you know, for a million quid, I'm happy with that. You know? And if you get any of you want it, eBay. Well, I've had enough, man. I've had enough. I can only fight a battle for so long before weariness sets in due to disbelief in the cause that I am willing to display my valour upon. You see? But, and this is quite a good, I don't think the royal family are uh, shapeshifting as alien, demonic, satanic, satanists who eat babies and shit like that. Right? All the people I know who think that take cocaine. There's a parallel. Right? <coughs> I'm just me, trying to be an artist, and wondering... Oh God. 
Which tube of paste hasn't got its lid? Ah, oh, the pink. Lily the pink, the pink, the pink. Which was written by... Oh, there's another one. Oh, but another man down. Where would it spread its spine? Oh, I think this is from the white, which we cut it off because we ran out of. Alright, but... But look, it's better than a, a kick in the face from a Nazi warlord. And that's what I always think about art, isn't it? It's the essence of human creation and devotion to communication through developing the visual or oral or written field. And uh, I feel very excited about this, even though it's cack. Uh, but is it as cack as the other cack? And this is what I want you to answer, right? So answers on a postcard, which is least cack? Or which is most cack? The Battle of the Cack has begun. There was the, more, the War of the Roses, <coughs> the War of the Infidels, and the War of the Cack now. But it's a civilised war. It's not a lethal, violent, physical war. It's, it's a debate. It's a, it's a debate. It's a discussion about the, the essence of culture. Do you remember? Oh, mate, I had one point when I was making this. It was looking like the Mona Lisa. And I had it on film. I deleted the fucking gold, man. Anyway. Worth a million pounds. You're welcome. And thus it is true. My efforts have created a piece of art that will be remembered forever in the annals of history due to the devotion in the image of the cathexis that I had decided upon one random day, like Pooh Bear going for a pot of honey upon a random day. Here is the image. This is the final image. There will be no changes unless... I think, that, <laughs> I think there need to be a lot of changes, but it's not a diss, it's just I'm not paid for this, right? And, and I've already put about 10 hours of my life into this. I think it's more than 10, I think it's more like 20, so I was up late last night. <sighs> anyway, it's not a diss, it's just, I think, it's... <sighs> so what do you think, ladies and gentlemen? So what do you think? Com compared to the other one, I think she looks more redolent, colourful, and happy and exciting, personally, in the rainy field of the dangerous orbit of the British Empire. But she's an... Well, she... Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, yours for a million quid. Only a million quid. You know, I mean, a steal. There you go, my love. So well done, everyone. If you would like to buy it, it's available now through urbanspaceforce.com and long may your range of exes applicabies, applicabies, applicabies. Yeah, sometimes I'm a complete douche. But, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We live in the Western freedom world under Britain and America and the Western Allied Stronghold and NATO and all these good Australian things. Because we know the power and the value of love and decency and power. And Jesus Christ, our man, eternally under God forever. And if I want to try an effort, a painting, in the glory of the stronghold of the Western Union and the Empire and this monumental now light orb insentient reality and eternal cosmos of infinity under God and space. Then this is my freedom and my allocation to attempt such genius. Thank you. One million pounds. Do 
Due to the warp vectors on the incredible solo field of uh, imagined data repeating through space time on a, uh, a freedom curve of independent oneness for traditional English values under Britain and America and all the allied ancient countries under one holistic piece of forward thinking, intellectual, scientifically based with a religious understanding caliber behind it. And I think we're still given what we have to endure doing fundamentally very brilliantly. Not including Farage per se. Because he's just a little body walnut. Right. Um, so again, we, re we repeat this image because this is very serious, you see. If this is worth a million pounds, which it easily is, if not how, is, what, uh, what is it? Art worth. Well, let me tell you, I am the reckoning. But no, I will not kill you. I, mean, I won't do anything worse than that. I just want you. The reckoning and the definition of the witness to the soul. I am me. Good! She does look so lovely. Caught here in her in my crude finesse of trying to capture another's beauty. But nevertheless, what have I done here? I'm going to put her down gently and hope she doesn't cause me any bother. But if she does, then I'll have to try and improve the painting, I guess, again. And a more professional yet field of holy, unbelievable coming to you glance, potentially one day in the field of supernatural infinity in the, in the destiny belt. But you know, just gotta you know, keep on trucking and trying and doing and go lacking. I love it, I love And I wandering through space time in control of your faculties. There's nothing better than that. Painlessly. Goes best as on earth, my friends.